Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to automate video intro using Shotcut Editor. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to add images to the playlist in Shotcut. I'm going to select the background and logo images, drag and drop them to the playlist like this. And next, I'm going to navigate here to the timeline, right click and navigate to track operations and add video track. So I've added track one. Let's do the same and add second video track now. Okay, we have V1 and V2. Now I'm going to take this background image and drag and drop it to video track one like this. Uh, left click here on the right hand side border. And this is how you can adjust the duration of how long you want your video uh, to be. So I'm going to make it just around five seconds. Uh, I'm going to click here to fit the timeline. All right. Now I'm going to take this logo image, drag and drop it to video track two, then left click and adjust the duration so it matches uh, the background image like this. Next, I have this video track to logo video selected or an image selected. Then I have to navigate to the filters, click on the add filter button and here find the filter called size position and rotate. Okay, once you select this filter, what I'm going to do first is whilst you have this image selected, added this filter, just navigate, find the zoom level and change the zoom level to, let's say something smaller, 40%. And I'm going to move this logo outside the screen like this. Okay. Next, I'm going to click here on this button, use keyframes for this parameter. So now, as you can see, we moved to keyframes window here. I'm just going to click here to fit the screen. So this entire clip fits the screen. And next, I'm going to move this um, playhead just a bit further in time. Let's say at around one second. And I'm going to add a keyframe here. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this logo from outside to the middle of the screen like this. And we have now automated from left to middle. So if I hit play, so you can see the logo has moved automatically nicely into the middle of the screen, but nothing happens. Next, we have to go back to this keyframe. So it sits at one second. I'm going to move it just a bit further in time to around 105, add another keyframe. And then again, move just a bit further in time to around 110, add a keyframe. And now I'm going to increase the zoom level to twice the size, let's say 80%. Then move the playhead to around 115, add a keyframe. Then again, move to 120 add a keyframe and at 120 here I'm going to go back to 40% then move to 1 1 to 4 let's say add a keyframe and then so this is at 1 to 4 let's say around 2 2.16 whatever add a keyframe we can adjust the keyframes later but I want to create the effect of moving in, zooming in, and then zooming out, and also moving outside the screen like this. Okay, so now if I replay this automation, perfect. And now basically if, um, you just left click on any of these keyframes like this. You can actually adjust the time between each keyframe or how long it takes to move into the screen or outside or how long it takes to zoom in and out. So here I moved this keyframe uh, a bit further or a bit closer to the start. So, and at this point we know that the image is in the middle of the screen. So that means the image is going to move very quickly into the middle. Okay, so let me bring this back to around where it was because this looked 
a lot better. And that's it. Now, what we have to do, the final thing is just navigate to the timeline. Now select this background image, navigate to filters, add a filter, and then add the same size position and rotate filter. And in here, just move the playhead to the start in time. Then zoom in on this clip, let's say to around 180%. Click on this use keyframes for this parameter button. Okay. So we are now at the very start set to 180%. Just move the playhead to the end of this clip, add another keyframe and adjust the zoom level to around 100%. So basically back to, back to normal. So now if I replay, What's happening here, it's it's just zooming out and makes it look as if the background is moving as well. So now let's replay this project. And that's it guys. Now you're ready to add your audio effects and export the project. I hope this was useful. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and see you guys in the next tutorial.